Hi guys, today I'm going to talk to you about uh, day night switches. Uh, a lot of you have been asking me how to connect these switches. Um, well, today I'll hopefully show you. There's a few different kinds of day night switches. What, what they do is, as soon as it gets dark, they switch on the lights for you. Usually outside lights, usually spotlights. You'll probably connect something like this. LED spotlight. This one has no wires. It connects on the inside. Which is nice, I actually like that. There's a little diagram inside there that shows you where the wires go. This one has the wires on the outside. It's uh, 20 amp, this one. It's a nice big one, which you can connect a lot of lights on. This is a smaller one. This is the 6 amp one. So yeah, let's get started. I'll show you how to connect a day-night switch. Here's my setup. It's just a light with the wires sticking out. The day-night switch. This day night switch is actually an imported one. The colors in my country probably differ from yours. The live in my country is red. The neutral is, is, is the black wire. In the country that this thing's imported from, the black is actually the live wire. The white is the neutral. The red is the load. So make sure about the color codes in your country before connecting it. Uh, the import, gray imports, this one is different. This one has the... the brown one for the live, the white one for the load, the blue one for the neutral. So I'm connected it the way the standards are in my country. Just check what standards are in your country. So first thing first, I'm going to connect the, the return wire, the one that goes to the lamp. On this one is the load. It says load is red. So the red one, I'm going to connect to this red wire. Always remember to use uh, junction boxes where there's open wires, always put them in boxes. I like to put the uh, day-night switches inside a see-through uh, box like this one. It protects it from the sun, the rain, and also protects the wires, the open wiring, so no one can touch it. Okay, so after connecting the return, I'm going to connect the neutral, which in this case is the white wire. Now you'll see there's a bare wire here, which is called the earth wire. Um, what people usually do is they just cut them off. They don't use them because they're not crucial for the light to work. But that's the last thing that you want to do. Always connect the earth to the supply earth so that you know there's a earth running to your light as well. Tomorrow you might want to put on a steel light here, spotlight, and you know the earth is good. It's, uh, Bring in the supply. Now the supply, for illustration purposes, come from directly from the light circuit out to my supply. But yours will probably come through the roof, a switch, something like that. So we've got the live wire here, the neutral, and the earth. Let's connect the live up first, in this case, to the black wire. As it says here, live is black. Now with the neutral wire, you're going to have a neutral to the day-night switch. You're going to have a neutral to the light. So you're going to have to connect this one to both of those. In this case, to the white wire and the black wire. Now, usually with the day-night switches, if you switch the power on, it stays, it switches on automatically for 10, 20 seconds and then switches off if it's, a, if it's light enough. Um, this one does not do that. So I switch on the power, nothing happens in the start. So if it's too light, what you'll have to do to test it, is just cover the light switch, the day-night switch with a dark plastic cloth, something like that. Um, it's very sensitive, so make sure you get it nice and covered up. Let's switch it on now. You can see it's working. I take off the cloth. And then switch it off. One thing you don't want to do is put the day-night switch too close to the lamp. Because if you do that, and it gets dark, the day-night switch will see it's, it's dark and switch the light on. The light turns on, the day-night switch sees, oh, the light's on, it's light again, I'll switch off. And it switches the light off. Then it says it's dark again, switch it on. So it looks like a disco whole night. One on, one off, one on, one off. So that's something you have to avo avoid. 
So yeah, that's that's this little one here, the six amp one. Let's try and connect the uh, twenty amp one. I'll show you that quickly. This one, all the connections are the same. It's just the color that's different. In this case, brown's going to be your live, the live one in. Neutral is going to be the blue one, connected with those two black ones, and then the one that goes to the lamp is going to be the white one, connect that there. Let me just quickly connect that. Okay guys, there you can see it's connected. Brown is live in. The white wire is the load out. The blue wire is the neutral. Uh, this one does switch on when you apply the power and switches off after a few seconds. That's useful if you want to test it. Uh, it's always nice to see the lamp going on and then it shoots off after a few seconds. And you can also test this one by covering up. And it should go on after a few seconds. It should switch off again. Okay. And then there's just this, this one left. Actually connects to the inside. You can see it says live, the center, the neutral, and the live out. So it's also connected just the same, just the one inside there. What I like about this one is it's got a little cover on it. You can put a gland in there. You don't need the big box. But I still like to put it in here to protect it from the sun. The sun does burn these things. There's nothing left. Okay, thank you. Thanks for watching.